Congratulations. Today we are doing hydraulic robotic arms. By Kids Labs. By Kids Labs. All right, let's check it out. What you need is a screwdriver and a, a dock to help you build this. All right. We need to break off the tabs to set free the piston holder. It's that one and that one. Yeah. All right, go ahead. We're going to take the white plunger and my, my dad's going to help me screw it into the piston holder. Ready to screw. Now I'm going to bust these loops and put them on the side so, so it would be easier. I'm going to take the slider body and put it under the piston holder. We're going to take the two push arms and put them on the slider body. Put it still. So now we're going to take the slider cover and place it over the slider body to hold the push rods in place. So this is the slider cover. Take this, that piece goes on the plunger. Can you help me say? Yeah. Now that I have that put together, my dad's going to help me put a screw here and here. Right there, right there. You're going to take the left hand jaw and place on the push rod and the pin on the piston holder. Now you're going to take the left hand jaw and place it onto the push rod and the pin on the piston holder. You line up those two. And you got to get them at the same time, just like that. So that way, it'd be like that. Good job, Saint. Thank you. Now you're going to take these pivot push screws and place them. Here, here, and here. Oh. There, and there. All right, forgot to mention, we have about a half a cup of water, but first you're gonna take the slot on the trigger button and put it on the end of the plunger. Show the camera, Saint. Now you're gonna take and push one end of the tubing onto the end of the plunger. Now you're going to dip the end of the tubing into the water and press the plunger. You release the plunger, suck the water in, you keep doing this until there are no more bubbles. Alright, no more bubbles. All right, Saint, now you're going to push the end of the tubing onto the piston. Put that on the end of there. Go ahead. All right, Saint, now you're going to slot the dowels into the piston holder and the trigger. That one in there. That one in there. <laughs> yeah, we did it. Put that one down. The last step. Now, all we have to do to complete our hydraulic robotic arm is place these four screws. Here, here, 
here, here. To secure the dowel, right? Yep. We already secured with that little plastic piece, it just snaps on. All right. Also, these pads. This you put those out. little sticky pads on, and now our hydraulic robotic arm is complete. Sane is gonna do a demonstration to show you if it can handle picking up almost this full water bottle. Try it out, Bob. Wow. Mm. All right, that's it. Until next time.